Today, we are cooking seafood boil. Tatanggalin natin yung shell dito and then cut in the middle. I'm going to put my Doña Elena pure olive oil. Sarap! One minute to go. ta -da! Yes! Hello everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another cooking vlog. At ngayon, inilabas ko po yung aking kitchen because I already feel the heat of the summer. And ito po ay panahon na ng ating tinatawag na Lent. And I know that all of you, uh, tayong mga Pilipino, at I think all over the world, meron tayong mga tradisyon kapag Lent season. Isa na po doon yung hindi tayo pwedeng kumain ng meat. Lalo't higit pag Fridays. Hindi ba? So ngayon, I will share with you, which I rarely do, a seafood um, dish that you could use during the Lent season. O hindi kaya magandang ihain at ihanda sa ating Sunday or Easter Sunday brunch with the family. Let's begin. Today, we are cooking seafood boil. Gustong gusto ko tong recipe na to dahil gustong gusto namin ng family na kakamay kamay. Of course, we're going to need seafood. We have dalawang alimasag, sweet corn, butter, and we have seasonings. So, nasa seasoning ang, ang trick ng lasa ng ating seafood boil. Lots and lots of minced garlic. And then we have the Cajun seasoning. Okay, for those of you who can't find, it's very hard. I bought my Cajun seasoning in, in Santis. But we will add here on our description box how to come up with a Cajun seasoning mix in case wala kayo mahanap sa groceries. And then I also will use smoked Spanish paprika. I also have chili powder with a dash of lime. I'm not sure if you will find it in the groceries. You don't know if you'll be as lucky as I am, but chili powder will do. For some, if you want it really hot, you can use chili flakes. Okay, so let's just go along and see kung, kung ano, tikim-tikim, kung masarap na ba, ma maanghang na ba, or whatever. But all of this, I will begin by using my Doña Elena Pure Olive Oil. Of course, my olive oil choice. Alam nyo ng lahat if you've been following me. They have three variants. The pomas, which I use for deep frying and roasting. And the pure olive oil I use for everyday cooking. Yes, you can use olive oil for everyday cooking. Wag po kayong manghinayang because the benefits of all the healthy ingredients of olive oil, of Doña Elena most especially, ay mapupunta sa mga kinakain natin, sa kinakain ng ating mga loved ones. So, for everyday cooking, we use pure olive oil. And if I am lucky after this vlog and I find a good French bread for dipping of the seafood boil, I will be using extra virgin oil too. Okay, we need lemon. I think sa lahat ng mga seafood, seafood na kinakain natin, lemon is also really, really sarap, di ba? And refreshing. Okay, let's begin. I am already boiling water at lalagyan ko to ng maraming asin. My hands are clean. Okay, because I am going to be boiling my seafood. Ano mga seafood natin? Prawns, konting tahong, Meron din akong alimasag at saka patatas at saka mais. Okay? Alam ko familiar na kayo sa seafood boil. Pero ito yung aking version. Type na type ko talaga ang setup sa garden cooking. Lalo tiget pag ang guests mo ay nasa grounds, nasa garden, ayaw mo naman talagang ma-left out, diba? You don't wanna be left out. Hindi mo naririnig yung mga kwentuhan, chismisa ng pamilya. Pagka Holy Week kasi, kadalasan mga Pilipino, yung mga pamilya magkakasama para siyang Pasko para sa kanila. So, dito, pag dito natin sa garden ginagawa, we listen to lahat ng kwentuhan. Kasha ba? Parang hindi ah. Yeah, kasha, kasha. Kasha. Let's time it to 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, so while we're doing that, we can start on this. I'm going to put my Doña Elena pure olive oil rich in vitamins A and K. This also enhances 
the flavor of your food. So, kung masarap na siya, masasarap pa siya. This is the sauce that we are making. Itong seafood, binoboil lang natin to. Itong mais, by the way, naboil ko na po yan. Itong uh, patatas, naboil ko na rin to. Nalinis na rin po namin yung alimasag. Nalinis ko na rin po yung shrimp, yung prawns, at saka yung tahong. Not to forget, during the season of Lent, na hindi lamang tayo yung nagbe-beach, hindi lang tayo nagpapasyal-pasyal, hindi lang tayo nag-good time. This is a time for reflection. This is a time to reflect on thanking God for dying on the cross to save us all from our sins. This is the time talaga na you can go into a corner, you really pray, a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of everything, I guess, for the people that need to heal, to forgive. And of course, this is the time to make sacrifices. Okay na ba to? We are going to put lots and lots of minced garlic. Sarap nito. One of the top secrets of this ingredient, or one of the important ones that we should not forget, is our butter. So this is equivalent to two bars of butter. Okay. Marami tayong seafood, kaya don't think I'm being sinful. Okay yun, ang saya, di ba? <laughs> Ayan, so imagine mo na lang na nagkikwentuhan ng iyong family and oh, ganyan-ganyan, kweto-kweto habang nagluluto ka sa garden mo. Alam mo, madali lang naman eh. Ang kailangan mo lang naman i-invest ay yung mga butane, yung mga stove or kaya yung uh, induction oven sa labas. Oh, masaya na. ba? Diba? Ngayon, habang pinapalambot ko to, let's not forget the timer, let's put our Cajun seasoning mix. Depende kasi to ha, kung gaano kadami ang seafood na ginagawa niyo. So I think the sauce naman pwede natin itabi kung masobrahan tayo ng sauce, hindi ba? I'm gonna put about 2 tablespoons to 3 tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Okay, yun ang medyo nagpapalasa. Alam mo, ang sarap na ng amoy. And then I have also Spanish paprika. So lahat ng pula, so medyo guys, expect spiciness. Baka kailangan natin mamaya ng brown sugar in case. Now, in the grocery, I found a chili and lime. Chili and lime na, na seasoning. So, I was thinking, try ko nga to. This is chili powder. Now, of course, hahanapin nyo sa akin ang aking pepper. Okay, this I like to do. It really does make a difference in all of the things I cook. Lemon zest. Yung balat. Konti lang, huwag masyadong lalalim. Okay, yeah, I'm so excited. Wala pang 10 minutes, yung malimasan. Again, you can boil your seafood separately. I love doing this. Mm, parang pwede na naman to. It's already the sauce. I-off ko na. Let's squeeze some lemon. Let's put some... Ayan. Sarap, di ba? You know what? Our sauce is good to go. Mix, mix, mix na lang yan. Tikman ko, ah. Iinggitin ko kayo, ah. Ano ko to titikman ng walang seafood? Baka sobrang anghang. Ang anghanga. Ay, konting brown sugar. <laughs> Uy, pero masarap. Let's put a little bit of sugar. We're good with the sauce. So, ang natira na lang ating seafood, okay? In the meantime, it's always good to have lemon sa ano sa bahay. Oh, there you go. That's the alarm. Let's remove the alimasag. Okay, let's set this aside. So in the same water na pinagkuluan natin, I will put the prawns. This one, two minutes lang to ha. Ang dami nito. Alam ko na bakit. Kay Leon to. Takpan natin. Sandali lang to. Paglalamig yan, tatanggalin natin yung shell dito and then cut in the middle. Sarap! One minute to go. Okay, papalitan ko to nung tahong. Alright! We'll just put the, sh the, the, the tahong. Nalinis na to. We're just going to put it for a minute or two. Just enough to open it. Okay? So, thank you to all of you who have um, subscribed to my channel in the past few months. And for those of you who have also liked and commented, thank you very much. I read your messages. I read your comments. Thank you very, very much. And um, if you have some 
seafood recipe um, suggestions for me, please put it in the comment section of our uh, YouTube channel and I will definitely read it and consider vlogging it. Magtulungan tayo. Let's share each other's traditional... Ah, maganda to! Yung mga traditional Holy Week recipes ng family ninyo. Usually, ang seafood boil, you put it into a plastic bag, then you put all the seafood and the sauce, and then you shake, shake, shake it. Okay, ito na ang ating crabs. Pinahati-hati ko na. ta -da! Okay, bukas na! Yes! Okay. Pasok ko si crab. Woo! Pasok natin si tahong. Mais. Potatoes or kamote, pwede rin. And then, I'm gonna pour in. Come, 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 get the carter. We'll pour in some of the sauce, ha? Make sure all the garlic is here. Whoa! Say hi to the vlog, Linda Carts. Say hi! Hi! Sabi mo, hi ka sa mga anak mo. <laughs> Alam mo, matutuwa dito si Leon. Alam mo bakit? May patatas. <laughs> diba? May patatas and may shrimp. O-M-G. Okay, we will mix it. Mix. 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 Okay, this is it. So guys, this is our finished product, seafood boil. Ayan, ready, ready na para sa ating Holy Week para sa pamilya natin. There you go. So titikman ko lang ha. Yeah. And let's put a little bit of lemon. Hmm. Perfection. Oh my God. Rap. I want to say thank you to all of you for joining me in the Seafood Boil Vlog. Mag-ingat po tayo sa ating pagbiyahe pag uwi natin ngayong Holy Week. And maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat at sa Donya Elena Olive Oil. Yes! So, the perfect place to eat it is outdoors. There. Woo! Perfect! So thank you once again and happy eating everybody! Bye!